Hey, how's it going, comic book collectors? It's Hero Hunter 81, and I'm back with another video to show you guys. These videos are pretty addicting. I like making them. Um, I don't have too many to show you guys today. I got some uh, some bronze, silver, a couple Golden Age comics. Uh, I hope you like them. But well, let's get to it. These, this one, these couple, I found at a yard sale the other day. I just figured I'd show you guys and get them out the way. Star Trek number one. I think it's based on the motion motion picture. But personally, I, I like the next generation show. I, I I was never into the comics or the original show that much, but I did used to watch the Next Generation when I was younger. It's pretty cool. Star Wars King Size Annual number one. Let's see. Who you... All right. Conan the Barbarian number nine. Garden of Fear. Strange Tales, number 138. I think this is the first appearance of Eternity. It's a little rough. I mean, but the just the color alone on this comic makes it... It looks like a real old and beat up, but that's just the color of it. You got the green and then the oldish looking gray of the comic. It makes it look older than it is but Secret Wars number eight first appearance of the black costume must have book for any spider-man fan this one's in high grade too I mean sharp corners there isn't a ding on this Plastic Man, number one. It's a 12 cent number one. Grab anyone you guys ever see. They're only going to go up in value. Especially DC or Marvel. I think this is the return of the Plastic Man. Somebody else drew this guy and it didn't last very long or... I'm not sure, but this one's in pretty good shape, other than a couple spine stresses, but I just like the green and the red. I think it's cool. Werewolf by Night. Marvel Spotlight, number two. First appearance of Werewolf by Night. This one's got a couple wrinkles in it, but it's cool to own can't wait to get number five the first appearance of Ghost Rider but awesome Marvel feature number one this is the first appearance of the Defenders this book has off-white pages it's in pretty good shape other than along here for some reason it feels like but I don't see any water damage when I open it up I don't know just feels like it pops in and out in that one area. Captain America number 110. I think Bucky dons. Bucky puts on some kind of suit. I don't know if it's Captain America's suit, but. Captain America number 100, number 117, and then this one is the three books to own. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of them. You, they're all pretty good, but let's see here. Ghostly Tales from Haunted House number 106. Pretty cool. 
This one I got in a grab bag. I mean, look at it. But 12 cent Dell Walt Disney Comics. This one here I got at a yard sale. Number 141 Star Spangled Com War Stories. This one's in a little bit of rough shape, but Twelve cent Superboy can't go wrong. Got this at a yard sale. I think all the rest of these I got at a yard sale. Number one fifty seven. Young Love, number sixty six. True Romance Confessions. This next one I got at a yard sale. Porky Pig. Ugh. Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane, number 27. <laughs> Read that, it's hilarious. Superboy, number 92. Lex Luthor is training that dog to attack. His name's Destructo. Strange Adventures, number 87. This one's detached from the cover, but I got all of them for like a relatively cheap price. I forget, but. I think like 30 bucks for all of them I paid. I didn't care. It was ten, they were all 10 cent or so. House of Mystery, number 114. Look, they're watching him on there and he creeps out from behind. It's pretty cool. But I got two more comics to show you here. One of them I seen in 74 Suzu's video and I had to have it. So, cheers to you. Cursed Pirate Girl, number one of three. First print. I, I cracked it open. I didn't open it all the way. This book is like thick. It's made out of like some crazy paper. But every single one of these comics, the artist, Jeremy Bastian, it could take him up to two weeks to draw out a page, they were saying. And the name... And the stamp are all hand stamped on their production line, but it's just awesome. I mean, look at look at the hair. Look at all that. It's crazy. Even a little detail as the little hand right there. I love that. But and I got one more book to show you guys. This is uh I guess this is for Gene Pauly's Peter here. Check this bad boy out. Yeah, you know what that is. I've been wanting this book for a long time. I mean, I've been looking for this thing for months at a decent price on eBay. And you just can't can't find this thing for under freaking 80 bucks, man. But I found it for a little cheaper than that. It's got a little tiny spot there. But other than that, and there's a little bit wrong with it there. But other than that... I mean, it's in great shape, man. For some reason, every time I look at this book, man, it just feels awesome to own this thing. For some reason, I don't know what it is, but it's just awesome. All the black in it is, there's nothing wrong. But I hope you guys like my video. I got some more coming. I'll probably show you my graded ones next time, but I don't know. Thanks a lot, guys.